channel. So in this video here, I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done before on my channel. And that is a little bit of a hair tutorial for you guys. So as you guys know, I just now got out of the shower and everything. So the video I'm going to try to do for you guys tonight is how I scrunch my hair overnight. So this is my first time doing it overnight. I usually do it for like pictures videos whatever stuff like that so let's go ahead and jump right on in but before we get started go down and hit that little sub red subscribe button if i could speak turn on the bell to be notified when i upload and let's go ahead and jump on in okay so before we actually get started with this now i use a couple of different products than what um, everybody else says to use this is just what uh, i figure that works best for my hair and that is the l'oreal paris curve it mousse so this is what it looks like now i did have another type of mousse like this but i threw it away because it's too old but i don't know how well this is going to work out so we're just going to try it um i also always use hairspray to make it more um hold the curls a lot better you don't have to use hairspray i don't think but that's what i use and i'm just using the white rain unscented um and then i'm also going to try this as well because since my hair is naturally straight i am going to be using the la looks extreme sport hair gel um obviously you can get this at dollar tree so I'm going to try these three products in my hair. Um, you will need a hairbrush, um, hair ties, scrunchies, whatever you guys want to call them. And you also need your hair dryer. So if you didn't already get out of the shower and your hair is still damp, like mine is, which you guys can see how my hair is when it is damp. Or you guys can take a spray bottle and spray your hair until it becomes damp. Um, but where I just got out of the shower, I'm just going to work with what I got here. Um, I'm going to turn my ring light down just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing a whole lot better. Okay, so since my hair is already pretty much dry and it's really, really damp, like it's it's not even hardly wet anymore except at the very, very ends right here. Um, so what I do first after I dry my hair is I towel dry it, scrunch it in the towel or whatever I'm using to dry my hair with. I scrunch it like that shake it out a couple times let my hair sit in the tower whatever for a few minutes until it becomes damp now with that being said now with that being said as you guys can see here how my hair looks so what i am going to do is i'm going to take some of the mousse here and what i always do first is shake it up you guys don't have to shake it up well i don't think you do but this is what i do and I'm holding it like this so I won't hit my microphone, okay? And then you want to take a generous amount in your hand like this. And then the cat. And then you want to start just scrunching it. You can do it all over your hair. You can do it however your little heart desires or get it all over yourself now like i said you want to scrunch the shit out of your hair you can even do your bangs you can do your under your hair so you just want to do this until you feel like that is good enough now like i said i'm not really good with scrunching my hair this is my first time using this kind of mousse um i'm used to using the one um that i normally use so i'm gonna pause you guys i'm gonna stand up so it's easier for me okay so i'm taking some more of my mousse rubbing that in my hair on my hands and just going underneath as you guys can see like this <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I'm supposed to for doing this. And I do leave this in my hair overnight. And where my hair does a lot of fallout, you guys can see that. So, <laughs> as he says, it's because I dye it so much. But my hair's always done that, even before I started dyeing it. So I'm taking some more mousse. And then now I'm going to flip my hair over. Sorry, you guys can hear my dryer. And I'm just going to do the same thing for this side. Now, you guys will hear a lot of noise because my microphone right here. But let's, let's switch sides for you. So. Okay, there we go. What? <laughs> so, just take it and do it like this. You guys can see. Scrunch it, squeeze it. And my mousse went flying in my sink. Okay. Now for the back layer right here. As you guys can see, I'm just going to do the same thing. And I just dropped some of that in the floor and it sounded so wrong. So just take it and scrunch it all the way up to your roots. So as you guys can see, Okay, so you guys can see how my hair looks wet and voluminous. Now I'm going to flip my hair over and do the under layer of my hair. So, same amount. You guys can see, you guys can see how I am working this in my hair. Okay, take just a tiny bit more, and then I'm going to go in with the um, hair gel, probably. Okay. So now you guys can see how it's wavy. I'm going to rinse my hands. Okay, so now my hands are rinsed. I'm going to take my curling iron here. Yeah, curling iron. Hair dryer. I'm going to put it on the coolest setting. And turn it at the same time. So, as you guys can see, you scratch at the same time. Okay. Turn that bad boy back off. And like that. Now, I'm going to take this and take like this much, rub it around in my hair, and do the same thing. So, now where my hair is naturally straight, it takes a lot of product for my hair to get it looking this good. So. so, if you guys can see how that looks. Just like this. 
Okay. Okay. So, after that's all done. Okay, so now if you guys can see it there. Turn this back up so you guys can see. Okay, so you guys can see how it looks scrunched now. Now, I'm going to take my hair bow and my hairspray. Spray it a couple of times and scrunch it at the same time. Just to give it that extra hold that we're wanting. Okay, now, after it looks like that, cut it up how you normally would do your hair. So I'm just going to take it just like this. As you guys can see. Now I'm going to take it, wrap it like that. And then I'm going to sleep with my hair like this over night. So that is how I quickly scrunch my hair overnight. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. So here is my hair now. This is what it looks like, as you guys can see, it turned out perfect. As you guys can see right there, it is really thick. So what you want to do after is just keep scrunching it when you take your hair down. Are you shaking your leg, honey? No. And then, there you guys go. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So that is how you scrunch your hair overnight. Well, that's how I do it. But, yeah, uh, I'm just going to sleep with my hair like this, and hopefully in the morning it does not fall down because where my hair is so naturally straight. Um, now, I probably know I didn't do this correctly on, like, how everybody else does, but, like I said, my hair is so naturally straight, it is hard for me to keep curls and anything in my hair like waves, curls, whatever. But like I said, that is how I simply do it. You don't have to do it this way. But yeah, give it a big thumbs up. Go down and hit that little red subscribe button. Turn on the little bell to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video.